So polar bears mate in winter time. In Svalbard, this means sometime during January to, to May. During this time, the males do something we call mate guarding. And mate guarding is that the, the, the males actually seek out the females by smell and then they, they find the females that are closest to being in estrus and they follow that female as long as it takes. In the beginning the females are generally avoiding the males and this is a little bit just to test him but it also takes time to build that strong bond that it takes for them to mate. However, it's only the female with that cubs that will mate. And the male polar bear's dilemma is that it takes almost two and a half, three years sometimes to, for a female to raise the, her cubs to independence. So if a male meets a female with small cubs, it, he, has to, he has to wait for almost two years for that female to get ready again. To reduce this waiting, the males sometimes attack and kill cubs so that the female, and that means that the female will get back into estrus the following winter. And then of course also be ready for mating. This is called infan infanticide and it's actually common in quite a few species. You probably heard about it in lions, they also do it. And uh, also brown bears do it. It is of course very common to read in the books about infanticide or that male polar bear kill the cubs uh, to, to get females into estrus, but it's ex extremely rare that it's documented. I can only find a couple of other videos out on the internet and I, I actually never seen pictures of it. So, so it's a very, this, this video is very rare, this documentation is very rare. Infanticide has actually very little to do with the climate change in polar bears. You very often hear that uh, that uh, males kill the cubs and eat the cubs because it's so little food to find for the to, uh, the polar bear. But actually, that is not true. It's it's very rare that he has he needs to do it because of a food resource, but it has all to do with reproduction and very little to do with climate change. Females will try to do try to reduce the risk uh, by mating sometimes with several males meaning that the males when uh, meeting the female later with her cubs the males can't be sure if it's actually his own cubs she is with or if there is someone else cub this reduces the uh, the risk of the male killing the cubs because he might actually kill his own cubs another thing we always see with the polar bears the females with with cubs is that she is very afraid of the big males even if she tries to smell after the big males and if she smells a male in the vicinity she will start running from that area and just leave the area completely. She does everything she can to save her cubs. So when we first encountered this male, I thought of course we saw him was feeding on something on the ice floe, but of course I thought he was uh, feeding on a seal that is much more common to see in Svalbard. Uh, but after a couple of minutes we were watching the bear and we actually suddenly realized that he was actually eating a small polar bear cub. Yeah, when, when, as I said earlier, when infanticide happens, it's usually just to get rid of the cub and has very little to do with, uh, with food, uh, but it's this time he actually eats it. Normally they just leave the cubs dead on the ice and, and uh, keep following the female instead. But this time it was different, he actually was eating the, the cub. After some time, later we found uh, found the female and she was resting up in the hillside. So, so it wasn't long after the, the kill was happened that we arrived. We didn't see the kill itself, so we can't of course say 100% sure that the male killed the, the small cub. But this is probably what happened. 
uh, the female she was resting up in the hillside and actually after some time we were watching her she she also came down to the ice flow and and um, yeah started actually to to feed a little bit so eat a little bit of the carcass herself so uh, so it was a very special moment and as i often say nature is not a romantic place <laughs>